Hello everyone, uh, my name is Francesco and I'm a research space scientist at NASA Goddard. Along with my colleagues Yuri and Neoma, I'd like to welcome you to our SpaceX Challenge, Seismic Detection Across the Solar System. Seismology is a study of seismic waves. We typically hear about it within the context of earthquakes, usually for disasters and hazards, but that only scratches the surface about what seismic waves can tell us. In reality, they are an important tool for understanding our planet. By studying seismic waves and how fast they travel, we can probe into the structure and composition of the Earth, a bit like an X-ray or an ultrasound. As it turns out, we can do this on other planets as well. Over the past several decades, many missions have deployed seismic instruments in space. For example, in the 60s and 70s, the Apollo missions deployed seismic instruments across the near side of the moon. These instruments recorded a variety of interesting signals, including meteorite impacts, explosions, and thousands of moon quakes. More recently, the InSight mission deployed a seismometer on Mars, leading to the discovery of hundreds of Mars quakes. From these data, seismologists piece together so much about these planetary bodies, including, but not limited to, the structure of the lunar regolith, tectonic processes on the surface of Mars, and the interior compositions of both. Given these successes, more seismic missions are in the works for the future. However, there's just one hiccup, sending the data back. Sending data back long distances in space takes a lot of power, especially if we plan to collect data for a long time. A lander would need to select useful signals without human supervision. In other words, pick and choose which data to send back. This is where you, the challengers, come in. In this challenge, your team will design an algorithm to find seismic events and test it on real data from the Moon and Mars. In your data packet, you'll find example seismic signals and catalogs, along with some sample codes to get you started on how to look for and mark detections. Will you find a clever way to pick out signals from noise? That's for you to find out. Good luck!